Percy Jackson fans, it's me, Anna, and unlike the previous two episodes, my father is actually not here. No, it's bowling night, so I got the house to myself, and I can be as loud as I want to be. Um, so I guess let's start with a recap of the last episode, which, while I was editing, I wrote down exactly what happened, so that I know what to say. <laughs> um, so we started off with the best line ever, which was... Salem, could you not? That's what I thought. Anyways, Salem aside, the best line ever, which was, you drool when you sleep. Which is just iconic. Iconic from the books. Iconic. Spoiler warning, I have read the whole series, the sequel series, the sequel sequel series, the offshoot series, the fun books, I know what's happening. So spoilers, because I will know them. This is my reaction to the show, not to the plot. Spoiler warning. I don't think I put a spoiler warning in episode two. Um, hopefully it's an understood thing when I gestured to the books. Um, but we started off strong. Percy's in the infirmary. We got the iconic line, the beginning of their romance. Uh, um, and then we got Mr. D, Dionysus. Uh, tricking Percy into thinking he was Percy's dad, which was not in the books, but was hilarious, and an actual smart way to also add in the whole, uh, your demigod children can do the stuff that you as a god cannot do because of certain god rules. It was, it was a nice, it was a good difference from the book that, like, helped... They, I see that they're doing it a lot. They're combining scenes into one. That's mostly because these are about 30 to 40 minute episodes. So they're combining a lot of scenes from the books to take place in one scene. Um, speaking of scenes that aren't in the book, however, we get a lot of Grover that we didn't get in the books. We got a lot of Grover, which I'm super stoked about because... The books, the book, the books are first person, first person, Percy Jackson, the most iconic, unreliable narrator. So this is going to be fun, because we get to see the outside Percy's perspective of the events that happen. I mean, they'll be slightly altered, but we'll get the outside. I'm so excited for this. I didn't even think about it until the second episode when we saw Grover go out into the woods to meet the Council of the, Glo the Cloven Elders, which was only mentioned in the books. I did read a little bit. Sorry about the long post discussion from the last episode. I read a little bit of the books. I tried to edit out most of it, but I might have missed some. So I apologize. But anyways, we... I reread some of the books. I didn't reread the whole book. I did not have that time. I'm probably not going to have that in time until after New Year's. But, on the other note, what else happened in the last episode? We were introduced to Luke and Annabeth and, like, a whole bunch of other campers. We were also introduced to Ethan Nakarama. He's a lot more in this the TV show than he was in the books until, like, book four. <laughs> I think it's Nakarama. It's not like his last name was said, or his first name. I just know it was him, because I, when I rewatched, I had the subtitles on. So I knew it was Ethan speaking, and I was like, oh my god, it's the guy from the fourth book! So... Why blue? No, that's just the screen. Anyways. <laughs> um... We also got the, oh yeah, I have a things to mention. I'll get to it. Um, we got to the Supreme Lord of the bathroom scene, which was not as much water as I imagined in the book. Not as much. I like kind of pictured the whole thing just covered in water. Technically in the books too, Annabeth got soaked, but like, Annabeth was there for the whole scene and not just the end in the book because she was the one showing around Percy instead of it being Luke and it was on the first day he woke up instead of like later that the next day night 
Also, the books, they get 10 days, and they got a week. And in my post discussion, I said five days. So, <laughs> yeah, they lost three days in adaptation. That's going to suck once they get to the uh, Lotus, but... Oh, well. <laughs> um, can they even go? Can you travel from... Long Island to L.A. in five days? Is that possible? I didn't even think about that. In not five days. I did it again. I did it again. A week. Maybe. They did in ten. They also, have, they also have divine intervention. I keep forgetting about that. They have divine intervention. They have to get to Denver at some point in time, and it's either... It's probably going to be the next episode. It's going to be Denver. Realistically. I think. But I also thought this episode was We Get a Quest. So now I have to rethink what the... Like, opened it up. I was like, it's not We Get a Quest. Uh... I think. What was the other episode, then? I'll cut out this part. I plunged to my death. We take a zebra to Vegas. We find out the truth, sort of. The prophecy comes true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what's the eighth episode? I'm confused. I'm gonna have to look that up when I, when I, when we get done. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Um, uh, I did rewatch. I've mentioned this before. I did rewatch it. They do. Sally does call for Gabe. They don't call him Smelly Gabe. So I'm hoping that comes in later. Um, another difference I saw is that Grover says he's 24 in the series, but he's 28 in the books. That whole Half-Life thing going on. Um, they haven't mentioned the whole names have power yet, so I'm wondering if that's going to happen in this episode. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, I was checking the comments earlier. Um, there was one person, AC Wolf 92, 92, I can read who asked, can the whole of Lightning Thief be c covered in three 30 to 40 minute, e 30 to 40 minute episodes? I can read my own handwriting, I swear. Um, and I have to say, they've already missed a couple of things, so I'd rather have 10 episodes than 8. I'd rather also have hour-long episodes. I'm used to my hour-long 10 episode seasons. You know, from Game of Thrones. Uh, yeah, we... My dad and I realized this. I started watching Game of Thrones when I was 13, the adult show, and now that I'm 19, six years later, I'm watching a kid's show. How the turns have tabled. How the turns have tabled. Um, but yeah, they're gonna have to, considering they have finalized it. But I wish there were longer episodes, and I wish there was at least 10, maybe 12 of them. I'd go for 12, because that's the, that's the Greek, like, magic number. They'd probably be able to cover everything in 12, too. They'd be able to cover everything. So, to answer your question, they kind of have to. But I'd prefer 12 hour-long episodes. That is my personal opinion. That would get me more content. So, um, that's kind of everything I wrote down. So, I'm going to hit play, and I'm going to have fun. That's not the right remote. He's in the attic! Which is weird, considering your Halloween decoration. Oh, Ooh, that's creepy! We get the green smoke. Please tell me we get the green smoke. We get the green smoke! It's a win. 
A win is a win. Come on. Wait, no, that's Gabe. Really? You shall go west and face the god who has turned. What we expected. Oh, we didn't get the whole thing. This quest will proceed and choose Yeah, two Luke and Ethan are here. And ensure Some that girl. we succeed. Annabeth. Just, okay. And Glarys is there. And it's it's super hard. And required someone to push him down the flight of stairs for it to succeed. You want someone who won't hesitate when they do it. You're not wrong. <laughs> Who did you choose to go with you? You. Fine. No, seriously, who did you choose? It shows you. Why? Because he's best buds. You shall be betrayed by the one who calls you friend. I trust you. Huh. And right now, nothing's more important than that. Is this a friendship I'm have test? The best, Max. I think they're Canadian. Drug Or from Japanese. I don't know. Oh, it's Annabeth and Tommy. When Annabeth first arrived here with Dolly and Luke, they were being chased by monsters. Her Seder protector tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. So, at the last moment, yeah, her Seder she protector. intervened to save her life and changed her form. Was to turn her into a tree? Happens more often than you think. She was the greatest demigod I ever knew. Forbidden children are always in danger, even the strongest ones. Are we clear? No seaweed, Brian? Chiron's known for plane tickets. This seems kind of low priority, doesn't it? Sorry, I assume someone had told you. Zeus might decide to take a shot at you himself. The sky is his domain. We'd be serving you up on a silver platter to try to travel through it. It's a consensus song. Trevor? Fade away. Poor Grover. Honestly, she no. She thought it was okay for you guys? Whatever. Songs. I've been singing this whole time. Our voting system's broken. Annabeth thought process. All of the candy. What happened to sodas and chips? I see a leather jacket. Nothing will stop them. Not even death. Mrs. Dodds, he gets to that vaporize his pre algebra teacher again. Look, I'm not against the idea of consensus. I'm just not sure the song is doing what you think it is. Guys, you need to open that window. Now! Go, 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 go! It's an emergency exit. Uh oh. job, Annabeth. The dagger she got from Luke. Curse of Blade Children. Lost in the woods, somewhere in New Jersey, and we're never gonna make it to LA. We haven't even gotten to Trenton, and we were wandering through a forest. I didn't even know I had forest in New Jersey. Just a kid doesn't do what you did to Clarice back at camp. Just a kid doesn't have Haiti sending top lieutenants to retrieve them. I don't know why you keep pulling him into this. He's on my side. What makes you think that? He's my protector. It's his job. He was my protector first. First? Very exciting. Connect to walk in Uncle Ferdinand's footsteps. When you tell people to be quiet so you can smell better. Auntie N's garden gnome emporium. Auntie M has a garden full of petrified stone folk. You should have accepted my offer when you had the chance. Offer? What offer is she talking about? Not today, friends. Not on my doorstep. Don't look! It's a pleasure to meet you, son of Poseidon. I'm Medusa. No hiding it. And I'm offering you lunch. I think we can trust her. Huh? No, you can't. I can't explain it. I just... My mom needs to tell me her story. Choosing one monster over another. Ooh, cookies. You think it's safe to eat? Percy, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm really hungry, and I'm ready to take that chance. This isn't the same for me as it is for you. Why? You're concerned I would hold a grudge against you simply because you are a daughter of Athena? There's a fury out there that seems to terrify you. Because she knows what I think of her. What my mother did to you wasn't a gift. It was a curse. You are loyal to your mother. Yes. You stand by her. Always. You love her? Of course I do. And so did I. I wasn't like you, sweetheart. I was you. 
She decided that I would never be seen again by anyone who would live to tell the tale. They want us to blame ourselves for their own shortcomings. That is not what happened. And you are a liar. <sighs> okay. How is this going to play? She's not usually like that. Is she though? I mean, a little bit she is, but... Your mother and I targeted by the same monster. A monster? My mom never talked about my dad that way. Where is she now? Hades. Your mother. Is she safe? No. I could help you remove them from the equation. They went into the basement? This just turned into a horror movie. Oh! There's fire! Are you and run! So we're gonna need a new plan. Don't look! I didn't really think this through! Yeah. If it works, it works! Oh, he found his uncle. He's not like the others. He, he doesn't look afraid. So they're not gonna have the names have power to make. Right. What are we gonna do with the head? I think I've got a better idea. Let's do with this. Yes! They will see this as impertinent. Damn impertinent. impertinent. Yes, we're not. <laughs> we're not. They yeah, have lied. We're not. So this isn't exactly what I meant. By choosing each other. <laughs> there are actual dangers involved here that cannot be... You're gonna sing a song, aren't you? <laughs> yes, he is. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, golly. Is that who I think that is? Oh, my God. Please be her muse. Messenger of God. <laughs> oh, that's the end? There's no way. How long? That was 40 minutes? What? <laughs> that, that wasn't 40 minutes. That was like 20. But we got the minimal Miranda. <laughs> I guess. Oh. We're just gonna leave it before I mess it up again. A lot less happened in this episode than I initially thought. I also just assumed that. No, I think that comes. No, I'm pretty sure the 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 poodle thing happens later. But, like, the time went by so fast. I didn't realize it was the end of the episode. I'm not going to lie. I thought 20 minutes passed. Because all we got was... We got the shoes with Luke. Very important. Spoiler warning. As I said at the beginning of this whole shibacle. <laughs> Spoiler warning. Percy has the shoes, which may or may not hold the, um, lightning bolt. Um, and then we also have, we have the shoes. They didn't explode the bus. Look, there's a specific chapter titled... I ruined a perfectly good bus. They didn't explode a bus. Which I'm sad about. I wanted a bus explosion. I was expecting a bus explosion. They just yeeted out. I mean, I suppose the backside of it was damaged. I s Salem. I'm stealing my cat before he causes too much chaos. Um, no, I wanted a bus explosion. I didn't get a bus explosion. I got some rear end, the rear end damage. Kind of sad about it. You live. Um, Annabeth's, Annabeth's, like, little, little conversation with Mrs. Dodds, who has an actual name, but she's Mrs. Dodds. I already forgot her her fury name. She has one. I forgot it. She's Mrs. Dots. 
This is just her name, Mrs. Dodds. Um, so, that conversation was interesting. See, I was under the impression that Cyclops... It's Cyclopses, right? Cyclopses killed Thalia in the books. I'm not insane. I'm... What killed... Books... Percy Jackson... I'm not insane. Really? It was the fairies? I was right. There were Cyclopses. They picked them up in Brooklyn. I was right. There were Cyclopses. <laughs> That's all I needed to figure out. There were Cyclopses. There were Furies. Both of them were involved. Had to double check. <laughs> um, where was I? Cyclops. Furies. Oh yeah, Medusa. They figured out it was Medusa a lot quicker than they did in the books. But also, they would they they had already re-killed Mrs. Dodds by at this point. So another part of joining those two little things together. Um I should look. Percy said he just killed Mrs. Dodds without trying with Medusa's head. He also didn't try very hard the first time. He just kind of uncapped the pen into her stomach. So, I mean, both times he killed Mrs. Dodds, he wasn't really trying. Which is a big L for Mrs. Dodds. Big L. Um, big L. What else was there? Yeah, they, they, they went with the more sympathetic Medusa storyline, which is fair. They still had to make her angry at the kids, though, so. You win some, you lose some. I was wondering how they were going to go about that. Because, I mean, a lot has changed since 2005 when the book has released. And, I mean, Medusa has... A lot more sympathy. Sympathy? Not sympathy. A lot more understanding than back then. Because back then it was like, ah, Medusa, monster. And I was like, ah, Medusa, rape victim. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Although they didn't pull the rape storyline on this. Yeah, it's mythology involved. And I was like thinking, I was like, is this an appropriate thing to talk about on a kids, on a kids show? But also, I don't have any. I'm I'm not setting it for children because I learned. You actually, if you set it on, yes, this is made for children. Comments are automatically just automatically turned off, and you can't turn them on again. So yeah. I can technically swear, but I'm not going to. But I am going to talk about mythology. Because books. I should just bring out all my Greek mythology books. I bet that stack would be almost as tall as this TV. Um, anyways, yeah, so they did a slightly more sympathetic Medusa, which is fair. Um, and that was kind of the episode. They did the bus. They had Percy and Annabeth arguing. They aren't doing the whole, your mom's Athena, my, my dad's Poseidon, those guys are rivals sort of thing. What are you doing, Salem? They're not doing that. And that was like a huge thing in the books. Because it was like enemies to idiots to lovers. Idiots in love. <laughs> well. In like the fourth and fifth book. But. This was the beginning. 
This is a slow burn. It's a five book series for kids. Man, I have I met Mom doing a while. All right. What else? Yeah, no, that was kind of the episode. Choosing people at camp. Oh, no, I lied. <laughs> I lied. Gable Logano. Smelly Gabe, if you will. Also didn't get named Smelly Gabe in this episode. I'm kind of sad. A little disappointed. But he did sing. Where is I am offered a quest? I'm offered a quest. Yeah, see, Percy was already calling her wise girl at this moment, which is an absolute tragedy. If I don't get a wise girl by the end of this, like, season, I will cry. Do you understand me? I will sob tears if I don't hear the words wise girl and or seaweed brain by the eighth episode. I will sob tears. Okay? <laughs> Do we understand? I'm not talking to you guys as the audience. I'm talking directly to Rick Riordan if by some odd freaking freaky frick chance that he's watching this. That's all I have to say on that. Where is... There it is. Oh yeah, it is Gabe. Well, technically it was supposed to be Gabe and all of his poker buddies, but Gabe is a friendless loser in this show. He doesn't have any poker buddies. Alright, that's up. See, Eddie's also in it, but we don't get Eddie. Eddie's a lot... Eddie's in it. Instead of just the handyman. I don't know what Eddie's job is in this show. Um, he's a maintenance guy. Um, talked about Gabe. Uh, talked about the shoes, the flying shoes, that totally won't try to pull Grover into Tartarus. Spoiler, spoiler, warning, warning. Um, and then we talked about the bus and how disappointing that it didn't blow up. And then we talked about Medusa and her garden, Auntie M's garden gnome emporium. which they couldn't even read the sign in the books. They had to have Grover decipher it. But I mean, I suppose dyslexia can't be everywhere. That, that was the episode. It was like three notable scenes. Yeah, three notable scenes. I'm just gonna call it an end and start editing. Bye.